Antonio, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Yes, Appreciate it. of course. Thanks for sitting down with us at Unstoppable Africa. So speaking about feeling un unstoppable. Yeah, you look yes. unstoppable. Yes. You got the hat and everything looks looks nice. Yeah. Speaking about being unstoppable and Unstoppable Africa itself, you are the founder of SolarFry, which is actually helping to create solar solutions, which started in Ghana, right? Yes. So tell me more about about that. So we started with providing solar powered pods for women entrepreneurs to be able to charge phones in the community. We evolved into the U.S. We're helping emergency response disaster relief, so when hurricanes happen, and then post-pandemic, back in Africa, powering hospitals and working with farmers. Mm -hmm. So many people uh, end up dying because of uh, the lack of access to power. Mm -hmm. So let me back up a bit. You have over 120,000 hospitals in Africa that don't have power. Really? So there's a direct correlation between babies that are born in darkness and babies that are born in the light. The babies born in darkness don't live. So according to USAID, 500,000 babies die every year because they're in, born in, in Africa, hospitals. Globally. In, in Africa. Wow. Because they're born in hospitals that don't have power. The, mm. the, the doctor is holding one phone with the cell phone and trying to catch the baby with the other. It's a massive uh, challenge. So we're trying to solve the issue to make energy access to improve the, the, the lives of, 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 of kids and babies. Mm. Why, solar, why solar power? What, what? Was there something that happened to you? Hopefully you didn't lose a kid, but like, what, no. what made you go this route and have this mission? Well, it's all about utilizing the resources that you have. And we have an abundance of sun in Africa. So it just makes sense for us to harness that energy and make it for good use. So again, we can use things like generators, but that, those things are uh, causing hazardous, toxic fumes. So for me, I uh, always wanted to do good things for my community. I met a guy once at a basketball game when I was 17 years old and he taught me the power of renewable energy. He was a, became a mentor of mine, worked for a company called One Energy, mm -hmm. and that just always stuck with me. And then I said, one day I'm going to create my own renewable go. energy solution and work on the continent. So we work in Ghana, Kenya, Sierra Leone, South Africa. Um, You've just expanded into other countries. We've expanded to uh, several countries. And, and other and, continents. And, and other continents as well. Uh, so we also work in Saudi Arabia, we work in the United States, and we're really uh, passionate about providing renewable energy access, but not just renewable energy access like most people are thinking about, just providing power. So we provide the solar power, but we also provide satellite communications because we have four billion people in the world that don't have access to, to internet. Mm. So how do we do things like telemedicine? Wow. The future of medicine, the, what's now? Because what, many of people don't, they can't even go to the hospital mm. to, for, basic check, for basic checkups. So you can't do that without connectivity and you cannot uh, have the right um, machinery without power. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to have the proper standard of care from agriculture to healthcare, we need renewable energy access. Mm. So you, you identified a problem, yes. you found a solution to the problem. Yes. How do we now help amplify your solution? What, what needs to happen? Well, we, we need to break down the barriers of bureaucracy uh, throughout the continent. And we also need to uh, break down the barriers of of, of always working on things like aid. We need to work more together. We have, we're always consuming from uh, uh, other people. So, mm -hmm. you know, we are consuming from Siemens, we're consuming from GE. We need to create the GEs of Africa mm. within Africa. We need to create the Siemens of Africa within Africa. Mm -hmm. Working together, we have, we have uh, doctors, many doctors on the continent, but then when, when the doctors, you know, get better, and when they get even more ambitious, they start going to Europe, they start going to America, and they start chasing uh, just the money. But we should be able to provide a great standard of care and make a good uh, living. Not that doctors in Africa are poor, but many go to uh, international markets. So we need to get but, those doctors to stay. But they say because there's no in equipment to help them do their job effectively. Yes, in yes. Africa. and if you're, if you're a doctor, right, you go through school, any, any profession, you want to you practice at the top of your game. You can't practice on the top of your game. So how do we also right, fix the infrastructure for we people, need to, the, we, for the talent to stay? We need to innovate and create solutions for that. And we need venture capital firms. So I'm also, also a founder of a venture capital firm called Amina Capital, mm -hmm. which focuses on investing in clean tech companies, ag tech companies, ed tech companies, and health tech companies. Mm. So these are the type of solutions that we're working on. I'm also an operating partner with a, a, a venture capital firm in Ghana mm -hmm. um, called Chanzo Capital. Mm -hmm. And Chanzo is focused on very similar thing. So developing those entrepreneurs, helping them grow, but not just with capital, but we need capacity, we need better education, uh, mentoring, and then we also need community. 
So I always tell people, when we're here in New York, right? There's a lot of people who come from the Jewish community in New York. They grow because they, they unite and they work together. We need to work together and share our knowledge more with each other, and that's how we become more of an, like, an unstoppable Africa, and that's how we amplify and help other entrepreneurs. But we have to work more together and share what's working and what's not working for us and, and get together for coffee and teas and walks consistently. Collaborat collaborative action yes. is key. Yes, I mean, it needs to be persistently done. It's not like, okay, I'll see you when I see you. Oh, next week, next week, next week. Every Tuesday, every Wednesday, <laughs> every Thursday. He's I'm already putting this it on the calendar. It has there to be on go. the calendar. It's no different than a study group when, yeah. you're, when you're in school. You have to be diligent about it, Ex yes. and then it'll happen. It's not yes. just next week. I like, I like what you said. It's, they say it's coming together. A lot of people don't think like that, unfortunately, yes. but nowadays people are starting to see that we go far when we're together. Yes. And that's obviously a proverb, so it's, it's very true. Thanks so yes. much for what you're doing with SolarFi yes. and for everything else that you're doing to try to implement and amplify Africa and implement the things that we need on the continent. Thank you so much. Thank you for having uh, me. How do you personally uh, commit to making Africa unstoppable? I personally commit to making Africa unstoppable by mentoring and nurturing the future talent of African entrepreneurs and leaders. So mentoring, nurturing them, and then also providing the right capital. That capital can come from a venture standpoint, that capital can also come from debt, but we need more than just uh, capital. We need nurturing, mentoring, and, and helping the next future entrepreneurs. Everything I've learned was through mentorship, so we need more people giving back and helping each other.